Who are Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre? Who are they? What are they about? For those of you who don't know, it is an American modern dance theatre company that was founded by Alvin Ailey, who was a African-American male choreographer and dancer. So the first performance of um, Alvin Ailey was in 1958, was their first performance, and that's when, they commu that's when the company was founded. So guys, not too long now to get to the station to meet my aunt, then straight off to Odeon Cinema. And I'm so, I'm just so excited. It's not even a surprise for my aunt. As you know, she already knows, but she doesn't know that I'm vlogging this. So I hope she's got to be camera happy today and not camera shy today. So I can introduce her to you all because she is a dancing queen of the family and see how it goes. On another note guys, so today is January the 4th. <laughs> today is January the 4th and in the UK it's typically the first day back at work and after Christmas and New Year's and everyone's moody. Like what's your problem? Everyone's moody. Oh my god. Yeah, I just had to drop that side note. They're like why is everyone moody today? Like first day back at work? First day for school run? Life's back to normal after Christmas and New Year's. Happy New Year, everyone. I didn't say it at the start of this vlog, but hey ho. Is it open? Wow. Um, I can get the train. I can get the, the train. Yeah, but get on the bus. You said it was a bit lonely down there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You be careful. Get, you get that thing out of I want to introduce <coughs> you on the camera. Okay. Hi, this is my auntie Pat. Hello. So, hi, we just watched the film Alvin Ailey, the documentary film. What do you think about it? I thought it was superb. I have to say that it's nice to know about the man behind the best black ballet show and director in the world. You just summed it up for me. I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen Alvin Ailey dance theatre company three times, haven't we? We have. In Birmingham when they came to the Hippodrome. Yes. So we saw them live. Yes. On stage. And they're now in film as well, so it's good. But it's nice to know the history behind the man who created the, that ballet for black people. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. It was a birthday treat as well. Uh, to watch Alvin Ailey because obviously my aunt's into dance as well so yes. it is a bit like a birthday treat and a happy new year treat as well yeah she this is one of the best nicest well, nicest present I have received in a long time <laughs> I love it <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you so much yeah it was it was good it was mm -hmm. just, it was a different kind of movie we learned so much about Alvin Ailey that we didn't know yeah before, definitely behind the scenes and what he went through mm -hmm. before he uh really kicked off that company and yeah he came for a, a lot of <coughs> his life experiences and internal struggles, struggles, think, struggles as, yeah. a, as a black man and a black gay man in the 1970s was not unknown well, in America mm -hmm. but at least he was accepted in most of the part of the world yeah definitely yeah definitely and uh, I don't know what you Love think you. as well like You've been into dance over the decades and yes. stuff. So yes. What do you do? You see like much growth, or do you see like see the similarities in especially black dancers over like the forty years in dance mm. for yourself? Yes. America versus Britain, for example. Yes. Um, I must admit that I I wish that people black people could do more creative dance rather than street dance uh, because. I would like to see more black ballet, especially on the British side, than on the American side. It would be yeah. nice to have um, just that variation of dance in black culture, rather than just street dance, which is getting I mean, a bit monotonous now, really. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good point as well. So it's like yeah. seeing more black British art form, art form, rather than the same American American all the time. Yes. Which is nothing wrong with the American dances and stuff, but it's like yeah. nice to see something here in Britain 
as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And you know what you just said is similar. What I know remembered in the movie. Yes. That Alvin Ailey himself, so that you know, like himself and other black choreographers then. Yes. Were kind of being used. So look, oh, here's a black dancer. Yes. Look what he's doing. He's doing. Like he represents everyone in the black community. No, that's it's not true. No, that's true. It's it's so if you if you have skills or a, a, a talent they tend to pounce on it and and then over uh, commercialize you rather than yeah. accept who you are so i think he felt like he was commercialized rather than trying to show what he can do and his artistry in dance so he, he was like pounced on oh this is a black man from america oh let's let's show the world that you know black people are okay but Effectively, he felt used and abused by the American culture to say, oh, let's use him as a, a form of democracy rather yeah. than let's accept, let's accept him as who we are and let's exploit him. Well, let's um, challenge him and back him. Thank you. Now that's the review. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> that's the review from us. Oh my yeah. god, <laughs> there's so much more we can share, but you know we have to just give a little what we thought. But you have to go and watch it, guys. If you have yes, please. Day. Yeah, go and learn about the man who started the black ballet um, throughout the world, and not just black ballet. It's a black modern ballet rather yeah, than. Yeah. Ballet, ballet. Exactly. Woo, yeah. Thank you so much, Auntie Pat. Okay. And thank you everyone for watching as well. Bye. 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 Happy New Year. And you too. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am back home safely now. Oh my gosh, it is cold outside. Literally, it is starting to snow. Anyway, as my aunt said, she shared her review, her honest and open review as it is, and I cannot wait to share mine. But overall, I was really blown away by Alvin Ailey's life script. That's what I'm calling it, a life script. It felt like an archive brought to life so a huge thank you to the film crew uh, for bringing that and bringing it to life really for us to witness and watch learn more of be inspired from around the world anyway don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you've got any questions or comments please drop them below in the um the comments section below i'll see you on the other side and good night I'm for you like one falling, yeah.